not so fast. The Nile's reign challenged. Ask almost anyone to name the world's longest river and they'll likely tell you it's the Nile. It's a fact ingrained in our collective knowledge, a staple of geography quizzes and trivia nights. The Nile, flowing majestically through 11 countries in northeastern Africa, has long held the crown. It's a symbol of ancient civilizations, a lifeline for millions and a source of endless fascination. But what if we told you that this seemingly undisputed fact is not as straightforward as it seems? What if the Nile's reign as the world's longest is not as secure as we thought? The truth, as with many things in science and geography, is far more nuanced, complex and, dare we say, more interesting than a simple answer. Welcome to the world of river riddles, where determining the longest involves more than just measuring a line on a map. It's a world of scientific debates, national pride and evolving methodologies. It's a world where the answer might surprise you. Get ready to explore the fascinating and sometimes controversial quest to unravel the mystery of the world's longest river. Measuring the unmeasurable, a river runs through it, but how far? Before we dive into the Nile versus Amazon debate, let's understand what makes measuring a river so tricky. It's not as simple as laying a ruler on a map. Rivers, like all natural phenomena, are anything but straight lines. They meander, they branch, they change course over time. Determining where a river begins and ends is often a matter of scientific interpretation and debate. Hydrologists, the scientists who study water bodies, use terms like thalweg, the deepest part of a river channel, and first order stream, the smallest tributary in a river system, to navigate this watery maze. They employ sophisticated techniques like satellite imagery, remote sensing, and on-the-ground surveys to map a river's course and measure its length. Even with these advanced tools, challenges abound. Should we measure a river along its main channel or include all its tributaries? How do we account for seasonal variations in water flow? What about man-made alterations like dams and canals? These questions highlight the complexity of measuring something that's inherently fluid and ever-changing. The Nile, a history written in water. The Nile River, often called the father of African rivers, has captivated imaginations for millennia. Its annual floods brought life-giving silt to the arid lands of Egypt, enabling the rise of one of the world's earliest civilizations. The Nile's length, traditionally measured at approximately 6,650 kilometers, 4,132 miles, has long been a source of pride for the countries it traverses. From its purported source at Lake Victoria in East Africa, the Nile flows northward, a ribbon of life cutting through a tapestry of landscapes. It snakes through savannas, deserts and bustling cities, finally emptying into the Mediterranean Sea at a vast delta. The Nile's journey is a testament to the power of water to shape not just landscapes, but also human history and culture. The Amazon a contender emerges from the rainforest. Deep in the heart of South America, the Amazon River carves its way through the world's largest rainforest, a realm of unparalleled biodiversity and natural wonder. The Amazon is a river of superlatives. It boasts the largest drainage basin of any river on Earth, collecting water from an area larger than the continent of Australia. Its sheer volume of water dwarfs all other rivers, accounting for about 20% of all fresh water discharged into the world's oceans. While the Nile has long held the title of longest, the Amazon has always been a strong contender. The challenge lies in pinpointing its exact source, a task complicated by the dense rainforest and the multitude of tributaries that feed this mighty river. Not so fast. In 2007, a team of Brazilian scientists made headlines around the world with a bold claim. They had discovered a new, longer source of the Amazon River, potentially dethroning the Nile. Using advanced satellite imagery and extensive fieldwork, they traced the Amazon's headwaters to a remote mountain range in the Peruvian Andes. Their findings suggested that the Amazon, measuring in at an impressive 6,800 kilometers, surpassed the Nile in length. The announcement sparked excitement and controversy. Was this the end of the Nile's reign? Not so fast. 
The scientific community, while acknowledging the significance of the Brazilian study, urged caution. Determining a river's source requires meticulous analysis and often involves subjective interpretations. The debate over the true length of the Amazon and its place in the ranking of the world's longest rivers continues to this day. As we delve deeper into the world of river measurements, it becomes clear that length, while a fascinating metric, tells only part of the story. Another crucial factor in understanding a river's impact is its drainage area, also known as its catchment area or watershed. The drainage area refers to the total land area from which water flows into a river and its tributaries. It's a measure of a river's reach, its influence on the surrounding landscape and its role in the global water cycle. And in this category, the Amazon reigns supreme. Its drainage basin spanning an area of roughly 7.05 million square kilometers dwarfs that of any other river system on Earth. The quest to determine the world's longest river is more than just a geographical pursuit. It highlights the vital role rivers play in our lives and the need to understand and protect these precious freshwater ecosystems. Rivers are the lifeblood of our planet, providing water for drinking, irrigation and industry. They support a staggering array of plant and animal life, shape landscapes and influence weather patterns. Whether it's the Nile, the Amazon, or any of the countless other rivers that crisscross our planet, these waterways are crucial for maintaining ecological balance and sustaining human civilizations. Their importance transcends simple measurements of length or drainage area. It lies in their interconnectedness with all aspects of life on Earth. The mystery endures. So, which river claims the title of world's longest? The answer, like the flow of a river itself, remains somewhat elusive. While the Nile's long-held title has been challenged by recent research on the Amazon, no definitive consensus exists within the scientific community. Perhaps the most important takeaway is not a definitive answer, but a deeper appreciation for the complexity and wonder of these natural wonders. Whether measured by length, drainage area, or their immeasurable impact on our planet, Rivers continue to captivate our imaginations and remind us of the interconnectedness of all living things. The mystery of the world's longest river endures, inviting us to explore, question and marvel at the intricate workings of our planet.